gathering of the Juggalos, baby! Ooh. I'm here on a mission of uh, dedicating myself to the gathering. Whoop, whoop. Gathering of the Juggalos will definitely open your eyes on a lot of things. $5 titty grab! You are witnessing history. I don't know how you could look better. You look like shit. So I trust you? For sure. I have nothing to do with this car. Wanted to help, I'm sorry. As you may know, I've been on this mission to become a better man. And lately, I've been thinking a lot about the value of dedication. Because it's dedication that brings you to make good decisions, which can eventually lead you to a very successful life. But before I start my journey to dedication, I would like to dedicate this episode to my friend Curtis, who sadly we have lost. I'm Curtis Valentine. I'm a true Florida boy. Man, I just fucking have fun and love my life. Yee-hoo! I'm a skateboarder. Got a great sense of humor, duh. As a man who was so dedicated to everything he set his mind to, he was a true inspiration to me and my journey. So I want to do this one for him. Damn it. So in order to learn the true value of dedication, I'm going to attend the gathering of the Juggalos. This one's for Curtis. Actually isn't that bad. So in order to learn the true value of dedication, I'm heading to the Gathering of the Juggalos, an event known for some of the most dedicated people getting together and celebrating what they have in common. It says whoop whoop, that's a good sign. Whoop whoop. Like, keep going straight in it. It's like so sketchy. All right, well, we're certainly not off to a great start, but, you know, we're gonna... Stay dedicated. Stay dedicated. The Gathering of the Juggalos is an annual event attended by followers of the Insane Clown Posse. The Juggalo family is as dedicated as they come, and to earn their respect, you have to go pretty hard. So, how am I looking? You look like fucking shit if you fucking ask me. I mean, your fucking face paint looks like you've been fucking sleeping in the dirt for three days after you went on a drug bin, so you look like shit. It took me mere moments to spot two extremely dedicated looking people. And I was curious how much of this dedication they put into getting to the gathering in the first place. I had to get a ride, so I asked my mom. I got fired from my job before coming here. We got T-boned pretty hard by like some dude going like six feet on the red light. My friend's car got broken into and all her shit stolen. We had to go to the hospital, but uh, thankfully that worked out for me, so. Awesome. The level of dedication here was off the charts. He put a ghost pepper in his ass. What was the outcome of that? Oh, he ate it. He, he ate it afterwards, which was amazing. And since my face paint was a failure, I had to search for other ways to prove my dedication. I'm down. So do I just ride it? That was sick. I made it pretty far, right? We seen better. Whoa, holy shit. Everyone at the gathering was so warm and welcoming. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. It felt like I was hanging out with all of these old friends, even though this was my first time meeting them all. But then I saw a truly familiar face, one that had been stuck in my mind for some time now. As you may have seen, I recently stayed at the Clown Motel, where they have a whole room dedicated to a man named Clownvis Presley. 
This is Clownvis Presley room. Clown, Clownvis. Clownvis Presley. Since then, I've developed quite the unhealthy obsession with Clownvis. I paint those, these paintings, this one, that one, and then all these paintings. The you clowns. made these yourself? Yes. These are cool. And now, he was right in front of me in the flesh. Even though I was starstruck beyond belief, I had to say hello. Clownvis! This is going to sound a little crazy, but I was at the Clown Motel, and then ever since then, literally, I've been, like, around the clock just, like, thinking about you, but just, like, almost, like, obsessed. Would it maybe be possible if I could kind of just, you know, shadow you for a bit and you could show me um, the way? Absolutely, man. I'd love to, man. Uh, I'm getting ready to do this Wet Fago t-shirt contest now. But yeah, man, stick around. I'll show you how we do things. They say to never meet your heroes, but Clownvis was different. He was such an inspiration, and I was honored to help him out with the Wet Fago t-shirt contest. Let's see some titties and be respectful at the same time. Boom, boom. My job was to keep the squirt guns and buckets loaded with Fago, the Juggalo's drink of choice. Ladies and gentlemen watching this fantastic contest, you are witnessing history. Come on, let's dance to the moments that take our breath away. Let's make it take my breath away. Holy oh, shit! Come on, let's sing every laughter and joy along the way. Let's make it on, let's go. Every moment, take our breath away. Na, 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 na. Catch him, catch him in your mouth, catch him in your mouth. moved by these juggalos, man. These people have a passion that is uh, unprecedented in other subcultures. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of this and see this kind of thing every year. It blows my mind every time. Clownless was right. These juggalos meant business. Helping them out was certainly a push in the right direction, but I wanted something that would take my dedication to the limit. I lit my crotch on fire and I got hit with a weed whacker in the crotch and I got third degree burns on my legs. I think I had found exactly what I needed. <laughs> they were called POR Stunts, also known as the world's most dangerous stunt group. You kind of got to be a little mentally unstable to do what we do in some spots, but uh, dedication's definitely there. They truly had an unparalleled level of dedication. I was in like a coma for like 30 days. 30 days, yeah. POR stunts would be performing at the gathering tomorrow, and they wanted me to be a part of their show. I needed to get some good rest before the show tomorrow. Maybe it was all the Fago, but a peaceful sleep was proving to be elusive. You ready to dig into this place or what? He ended up knocking himself out for like a full minute. I accept cash, cash app. Or butt. What do you call a fish with no eye? Pretty much gave him web fingers. I think it's really important that uh, you show somebody your asshole today, okay? Hopefully at some point. In the last Don't hope. Yeah. Manifest destiny. It's really hairy though, I'm warning you. Was it like I mean, wiping peanut butter out of a shag carpet when you take a shit? Probably, yeah, That's I would brutal, imagine. Dude. Gathering of the Juggalos, baby! Ugh. Okay, pull it out. Pull All it right, out. let's do it. Pull it out. I am. I'm not going to fucking screw you on this. All right, so we spread our ass? Or I'm so doing? spread right, right now. I'm doing it. <laughs> the best. This wasn't the ideal way to start my big day. Hopefully a ride on the Ferris wheel with a new friend would clear my mind. <laughs> I like your outfit. Yeah, me too. A lot of room for air. This is awesome. As beautiful as this moment was, I couldn't enjoy it. My mind was elsewhere, worried about the stunt show. Did I really have the dedication to be a part of the world's most dangerous stunt group? I suppose there was only one way to find out. What did you do? Just to yourself? Why? For who? Why don't you wait till we're doing the live stunts? Getting a bro already? If you want to hit the stunt show, get the fuck over here! They're gonna rip the tape off Noah's mouth, 
put a light tube in his mouth, kick it out, boom, he falls, he's dead. The ladder jump to the catapult nut shot, we've done it a million times. Then we're doing the mortar explosion nut shot with Tim. Tyler's gonna put lighter fluid in his mouth, light the light tube on fire, raise it up, spit the fire, light tube shatters. It's gonna be real epic. Greg is gonna do the backflip over the car, oh, okay. over the car okay. with the ladder. You can do this. Car the idea of that is to don't stop. When you hit them, just keep going. Nice and calm. Okay, I got you. I wasn't really sure what I had agreed to do, but it did seem very intense. Me and him are getting hit by the car, so we should be the ones talking to you. So the plan was for me to drive this car while going exactly 15 miles per hour into this guy known as Crazy Mike and his friend Kyler, while each of them stood on a ladder, and then they would do a gainer backflip to land once the car took out the ladder. So I trust you? For sure. Yeah, yeah. You promise? Keep around 15. Yes, sir. Can you promise? Yeah, it's pretty serious. Fucking do it. it. It's a hard yeah. car to drive, so get in there, reverse it, and let's do a 50 mile an hour just run up. Yeah, yeah. The window doesn't open. Okay. We should pop this window out. Yo, get out the car yeah. for a second. That's oh. That's These guys were showing me their complete dedication every step of the way, and it was profoundly inspiring. Should I like try to scrape the glass out, or like, so they can just sit on the glass, or fuck it? Not too bad. All right, this way you can see better now. Can't even see out the back of this fucking thing. Oh shit, dude, this brake doesn't even fucking work. Whoops. Get to this hat by 15 miles per hour. To the hat. Get to the hat, you're good. All right. That was now 15. It said 15. Was that 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to go a little faster, 18? For me, you can go faster. Yeah, yeah. For him, stick to that 15. 15 for you, like how much faster, roughly? You could go like 20. You could go as fast as you want for me. All right, around 20, or so for you. Okay, and 15 for him. Okay, cool. The stunt show was divided into two parts. The first part would be held in the tent, where I had some additional responsibilities. You're gonna just pop them in a nut. And then we would all go outside for the big grand finale. I was nervous, but there was no turning back now. Literally. Dude, this steering wheel doesn't even turn. Part one of the show went perfectly, and now it was my time to shine. But before any stunts were to be done, I had to back the car up to its starting place. And while I had already done this before, doing it in front of a crowd of juggalos was proving to be a lot more difficult. Back it up. All the way, all the way. Going that way. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, cut the wheel to the street. Cut the wheel to the street. I thought you drove before. Cut the wheel all the way to the right. Yeah. Do you want me to park it? No, it's hey. cool. I'll do all it. Right. Yeah. Start from that garbage can. Against all odds, I had got the car to the right place. And just when the stunt was about to go down, the unthinkable happened. Stop. Now shut the car off now. Don't back it up. I need you to shut the car off. Come on, yes, sir. Come with me. This yes, way. sir. Of course. All of you guys get in the car and follow me up this way. Hey, excuse me, sir. This is our producer from the video, so he can talk to you. You guys are out. We got it. Thank you. Okay. Why? Right. 
because of the issue that's going on right here. We didn't, you know, plan any of this. We just showed up. We're documenting the whole event. They just told me, yeah, I mean, I didn't know, you know. Um, no one said not to you, sorry. Thank you, yes, no, I was driving, but I'm, I'm not, you know, it's not my car. I didn't know anything about, you know, it wasn't allowed. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not my car. Sorry that you got confused. Yeah, it's, I was, you know, I have nothing to do with this car. Aside from the last half an hour, they just said hop in the car and drive, you understand? Like, yeah, I had no idea that this wasn't allowed. I'm sorry, you know, I didn't realize. You want to leave? Fuck this shit! Fuck this shit! Fuck this shit! Fuck this shit! I wanted to help, I'm sorry. The cops made us leave, so that was it for the stunt show. But what happened next, no one saw coming. Fucking back the car up, could you? Couldn't I'm make sorry, it fucking I'm happen. Sorry, it happened. And then he was surrounded by cops. That's your shit too. That's all fucking you, brother. That's all on me. I'm That's sorry. I'm you. sorry, man. You fucked up! You fucked up! <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I was a complete failure, but I couldn't leave the gathering without completing a final dedication test. And with the stunt show called off, I was running out of options. Then I remembered something the stunt crew had told me. Set little goals for yourself. Don't set a big goal right off the bat because you might fail. Set little goals. I knew then just what I had to do. We make a way regardless of the situation. It's more of like, like improv, you know? Like, follow me and then let's, let's see how it goes. Because there ain't no planning in, in life. You got to figure it out when the time comes. You can walk out the front door and get hit by a car and die. You know, you got to do it as it comes. Well, it wasn't the crowd pleasing stunt everyone had hoped for, but I was proud that I was able to dedicate myself to something at the gathering. And that's what it's all about. Taking little dedication steps as I climb to the summit of Mount Dedication. So thank you, Juggalos, and Clownbus, and POR Stunts, and most of all, Curtis, for helping me get one step closer to becoming a better man. That was pretty fucking crazy. I don't know if it's crazy to you guys, but it's pretty fucking crazy to me. Why are you trying to make me? You're trying to get me arrested or something? The Chaim. The Chaim. Got it? I put it on Instagram. You want? Well, that's pretty good. <laughs>